Hello, uh, welcome back to another origami lesson with yours truly. Um, today, if you haven't guessed, we are going to be making some rabbits. Um, got a couple of little demonstrations here. So there's a couple of variations that we can do with this and I'll take you through that towards the end of the session today. We're gonna go through the instructions twice over, like normal. So if you don't get it the first time, you'll be fine the second. Um, so we'll be making models that can either sit like this, so they'll just sit down like that, or how I prefer them to be, because they look like they're hopping, we'll make them so they stand up like that. But it's only a slight difference in the construction of the model. Um, but like I say, I'll show you the variants you can do on it, just so you can do whichever you prefer. So I'll just slide these guys out of the way, and without further ado, we shall get started. Um, let's see. These are great for Easter, by the way. Um, they'll just make nice, lovely little decorations to pop around the house. Um, they'll cheer the place up a little bit as well. Um, and if you're going to do an Easter egg hunt at home, um, again, you could get them involved. You could maybe hide some other rabbits around the house. Why not? Uh, oh, do you know what? We will do blue today because sort of matches my bandana that I'm wearing. So we will do that. Okay. So what we're going to need to do with this one is just starting out by folding along the vertical like we have done for a few of our previous models. So you'll take this bottom and fold it to here. So you'll just basically fold it in half. So do that. And again, try and get it to match up as perfectly as you can. Lovely. Okay. And then you unfold that. So you'll have a crease just there in the middle and then turn it around and fold the other half, so you'll end up with what looks like four squares. Okay, so you fold, and you'll have that, okay? And now we're going to fold corner to corner. So you'll take this corner, and you'll fold it to this corner here. Okay, so fold there. Unfold it and you'll see you've got a crease down the middle there and then you're going to take the other corner and fold it to the other corner that will run down the middle as well so you'll basically fold it in half like this make sure you press that nice and firmly just so you've got them creases there and then you guessed it we will unfold it again so you'll see that you've got creases going down and across and diagonally that way okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to take these two sides here and fold them to the centre crease that you've got there. So it almost looks a little bit like a long book um, or maybe a little bit like a menu in a restaurant might be a little bit of a better way to describe that. So you will end up with a shape like this. So it's just a rectangle. So I should have just said it'd be a rectangle, actually. <laughs> I don't know why the first thing I went to was like a long book or or a, re or a menu at a restaurant. Um, but again, I'll just show you how about that. So you'll take that and fold it to the middle there, and that and fold it to the middle there, okay? And you will not unfold this, because this is the shape that we're going to be starting from. And then what we're going to do is you'll see again, we've still got this middle crease here. You'll take the bottom and the top and fold them to the centre crease. So you'd fold it so it almost turns into a square again. So it'll end up like this. So I'll just unfold it and show you. So you take the top and the bottom and you fold them to the center like this, okay? Again, press that down nice and firmly, but then unfold it. Because again, this is just gonna help us to create the shape that we need. Then what we're gonna do is you'll see here, I'll just see if I can do it this way first. No, I won't be able to do it that way. So you'll see that you've almost got, you've got a line here on either side on, on each of your squares. What will happen is when you open the model up, I'll bring this back here so you can kind of see what I can, what I'm doing here. You'll see that it'll open up and flatten down into a triangle like that. So let me show you again. So that will open up from there like that. Okay, one more time. So you'll see that this will open up like this. And that'll happen on both sides of the model, okay? So I'll open up like this, okay? You'll end up with a shape 
like this, okay? So I'll just unfold that and show you one more time. So we're here, and you'll take this here, and it should nicely form like a little diamond on the bottom there. And then you do that to the other side as well, okay? So again, you'll get the diamond there too, but your shape should then look like this. So I'll just unfold it one more time, just to show you. Um, for anyone who is joining us now, I am gonna start again from the beginning. If you wanna stick around, it'll probably take another five minutes or so for me to finish the model and then start again. Um, but we will run through all the instructions once more. Okay, so I'll just unfold it one more time, just to show you exactly where we need to go and the shape that we need to end up with. Lovely. Now what we're gonna do is choose whichever side, it doesn't necessarily matter, but you're gonna take one of these diamonds and then just fold it to the back, like that, okay? So just basically flip that over, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these sides here, where you flipped it over, and fold them to the center, like this. So you'll see that you will get some up points going up like that on one side, okay? So I'll just unfold that and show you. So we'll then fold it so it ends up here, okay? And then you can see on the other side that we've got what's looking a little bit like a rabbit's head. Then what you'll need to do is take the other triangle, the other diamond, sorry, flip that round to where you were on the other side, so then it'll look like that, and then what you need to do is you almost kind of need to flip this back. It does get a little bit fiddly this bit, so again, I am gonna go through it one more time, but I'll also repeat this fold here and now, so you can kind of see. So you're gonna kind of fold it back like this, okay? Okay. So then you'll see it will look like that. So I'll just unfold that one more time, just so you can see. So you'll go, we'll even do it from this side, so you can just see that you fold that back, like that. And you'll see that you've got a little bit poking out the top there, which is almost like the rabbit's mouth. And I'm just gonna eaten that off a little bit, actually. Lovely. Just take that top corner there and just fold it ever so slightly, okay? And then what we're gonna do is you'll be able to fold the whole model in half. Like this, okay? So now you can also see that this rabbit is definitely taking shape. And with the head here, I'm just gonna pull that up like that. And then press those creases down. So you'll be able to see that we've basically got the body and head of a rabbit nearly there. Lovely. Okay, and now, we're onto the ears. So you'll see that the ears should be apart up here. You just bend those down slightly. They should naturally just follow a crease that you've already made at this point. They will then unfold and you should be able to find a little pocket within the ears here, just to widen them slightly like this. Okay, so I'll just show you that again. So you go from here, fold that down, fold that down, Press this, and then unfold, and then open up those pockets there. Um, again, I can see a couple of you have just joined now. We will be starting this again, so do hang fire. We will get round to it very shortly. Okay, lovely. Now, this is where you can kind of go as simple or as complicated as you want in regards to making the body of the rabbit. So, you'll see that you've got these two flaps at the end here. Now, what I normally do is I like to make a little bit I don't know what you would call this shape here actually, but I make a shape somewhat like this. Okay, so you'll just take these and you'll tuck it in either side, try and get them to match up as best as you can. So they'll tuck on the inside like so. Oh, I've not done a very good job here, hold on. Ah, there we go, that's better. So they will then tuck in like that. Now what you can do, oh, sorry, what you'll then need to do as well, sorry. <laughs> I'm jumping ahead of myself there. You'll just take this little corner at the top here, and you'll fold it down ever so slightly, just because I think this makes the body look a little bit more like a real rabbit <laughs> for a model that's not. Just take the 
corner and you fold it slightly and you'll press it in on itself here like this okay lovely okay so you can see that we're getting somewhere near the shape of a real rabbit at this point now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these little flaps that you can see it's poking out on the bottom there it necessarily might not on the model you've made just depends, just tends to have a little bit of variance with that. But you'll just take one of the flaps and you'll poke it up just like that. So you can see you've got your little tail there. Now, again, this is where you can decide whether you want the rabbit to sit flat like this or whether you want it to be a jumping rabbit like this. If you want it to be a jumping rabbit like that, all you need to do is you take the back of here. So you see where you've got your end there? Just fold that slightly up like that on both sides, okay? And then you will find that when you put your rabbit down, it will stand like this, okay? But if you want one where it's going to sit flat, you do that so you've got your feet there. But also, on the bottom here, you can fold this up as well. So almost like feet are just sitting out at the sides, like that. So then it will stand up like this, okay? And there you have your origami rabbit. So you can see there, fabulous. Now, I may have gone a little bit quick there, so don't worry if you didn't quite catch that, because we're gonna go through it one more time just now. So I'll bob him to the side there. Uh, what color shall we do now? I'm thinking, we'll move away. Oh, do like a nice creamy white color. Again, it'll help the creases that I'm gonna do show up nicely for you. So, again, we will fold one side to the other, so you're just folding it in half. Again, try and get it to match up as evenly as you can. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you seem to have got it, Nick. I'm glad that <laughs> I will take that compliment as a good thing. Um, for those of you who've not seen, Nick's just said I'm a good teacher. I will take that. <laughs> And then you're gonna fold it in half again after you've made that center crease there. So just do that on the other side. Okay. Fabulous. Okay, and then you'll end up like you've got four separate squares. Okay, and then we're gonna fold corner to corner. So we'll take this corner here, fold it to the other one. So this way we are making diagonal creases, which will run right through the center. And then you do the same on the other side as well. Okay. So you will then end up with your creases like this. So you'll end up with a line going this way, a line going this way, a line going this way, and a line going this way. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fold two sides to the center again to make a rectangle. Okay. <laughs> so Fold that there. Okay. And then we will fold this one to there. And you'll end up with your little menu style rectangle. Okay. So I'll just show you it upright as well. So I'll unfold what I've just done. So you'll take this side and this side and you'll fold them to the center there. And make sure you press those down nice and firmly. Fabulous. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the top and the bottom line and you'll fold them to your centre crease here. Okay, and that'll create a little square again. So you do this. Okay. And then you will do this. Okay. So you'll end up with a shape like this. I'm trying to make sure that the light's not distorting that too much. So I'll just unfold that and show you what I've done. So you'll take that and fold it to there, and that and fold it to there, and then you will just crease that there. Okay, so press those down nice and firmly, and then we are going to unfold. And what we're going to do here again is we're going to create those two diamonds on the top and bottom of the shape here. So I'll show you from back here first. 
you'll see that you've got the lines here from where you made your di diagonal folds earlier. Those should make it nice and easy for these to then form into... <laughs> yeah, I didn't realise that it was Land of Hope and Glory. Someone has just pointed that out to me. This is all meant to be happy classical music on shuffle. Um, kind of appropriate, I guess, maybe. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, where you've got these folds here on the diagonal, it should make it nice and easy for it to then become your diamonds on the top and bottom. So I'll just show you the shape that we would go for there. Okay. okay. So that is what you should end up with. But I'll show you that again after I've unfolded it. Okay. So take that there. I'll end up like this. Can you see? On the other side, I'll end up like that too. Okay. And then we'll end up doing it on the other side as well. So you'll end up with your two diamonds on the top and bottom. Okay. So I'll just unfold them again, just to show you exactly what it is. <laughs> so yeah. Fabulous, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these that you've made and flip it around that way, okay? So we'll go from this shape, where you've got your two on the front, to our ones on the back. The one that you've just turned around to the back, which I've just done there, you will then take the sides here and fold them to the center there, okay? So you'll end up with a shape on one side that looks like this, where you folded them to the centre. Okay. And you'll be able to see on the other side, you've got what is the start of your rabbit's head. Okay. And then what you need to do is you'll need to take the other diamond that you've got and flip that around to the side now, where you have got your rabbit's head formed. Okay. And with the rabbit head, you'll then take it back and you'll fold it like this. Okay. So you'll then have a little triangle poking out the top there. Again, trying to make that so you can see it, because I know that this light's kind of washing out a little bit. Okay, so I'll just take that back to there. So, bring the other triangle around to meet where the rabbit's head is, and then take where the rabbit's head is and fold it like this. So you'll then end up with a shape like that. Okay. And then where you've got your triangle poking out, just fold that in half to make a bit of a blunt edge, okay? And then you're gonna take this side where the rabbit's head's at the top, and you're gonna fold it in half like that. So you'll then end up with a zoomy rabbit shape, okay? So I'll just show you that again. So you've got your triangle poking out the top, fold it so you've got the blunt edge there, and then with the rabbit's head sitting on top of the model, you'll fold it so you get to your almost zoomy rabbit shape. And then what we're gonna do, is you're gonna pull the rabbit's head up, just like that, to whatever preferred angle you have, and then flatten it down to pop it in place. Okay, I'll just show you that again. So we'll go from here, just open it up like that to there. Lovely. So you'll now see that your rabbit is pretty much in formation, so we're not too far from the end. And then you've got your ears here, so you'll take your ears and you'll just fold them down, following the lines of the face on your model there, and it shouldn't actually follow it, like I say, because you've already made the creases there and got them in place. Okay, you'll open them up, and then you'll see that you've got these little pockets just here. You could pop your finger in and open that up, just to give the ears a nice bit of a curve there. Okay, you can also push it on the back slightly as well if you want to open them more, so it'll look like that. Okay, and now what we're going to do. I'm going to take these bits of the legs, I'm going to fold them in like this, just to create the rabbit's body. Try and not make it too much of a sharp angle, because you don't really want the pieces poking out on the end there, but you should end up 
with a shape like that. So I will just unfold and show you. Okay. So take the one side, fold that in almost like it's hiding inside of the model. So it'll be like that there. Okay. And then do the exact same on the other side. So it ends up in there. Okay. And you'll see you've got this little top corner just here. We're going to fold that into the model slightly. So again, this is a little bit fiddly, so don't worry if you don't get it. So you just do that. Let's just fold it over one side and then fold it over the other. Open the model up and you should be able to just pop that triangle down on the inside. So that way you'll see it then creates almost like the little arch just there. Okay, that's not a necessary step. I just like to do it because I feel like it makes it look a bit prettier. If you're struggling to do that, don't worry, that's absolutely fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these little um, flaps that we popped in there and pop it out to make the rabbit's tail. Okay, so I'll just show you where I've got that from. So you'll see that you've got your two bits just here. Just choose one of them, bring it out, and then pop it there, and then press that down because you've got your rabbit's tail then. And then we get to the point where you can decide whether you want it to be a flat or a jumpy rabbit. For this one, I kind of want the right rabbit to be the jumpy rabbit. Because um, <laughs> white rabbit in Alice in Wonderland's pretty jumpy, so it feels appropriate. So you'll just take these two edges here, okay? And you'll just fold them in slightly. So you'll create what looks a little bit like a foot on the back. So you can see that there? I don't know whether you can actually. Uh, yeah, you can see that there. Lovely. Okay, and then you do the same on the other side, almost so it looks the same. You can just follow the line that you've just made. Okay, and then, once you've unfolded that, your rabbit stand. Okay, but like I say, if you want to make it so it's a flat rabbit like this one, you would then just go from this point here, and you would fold and make almost like a little stand on the bottom. Okay, and there, We've got our origami rabbits. So that's it guys. So we've gotten to the end of this tutorial for the rabbits here. We'll just bring in our little rabbit family. I made a few of them earlier. <laughs> um, if you could maybe make, or if you've had a go, please send me some pictures. I would love to see how you've got on as usual. It really, really makes me happy to just see how well you've done, how far you got. Um, some of you guys who've been joining in fairly regular, you are becoming masters of origami. You will soon be teaching me. Uh, <laughs> but you are all doing amazing. Um, and I hope this has just been a lovely little distraction for you whilst we're all cooped up indoors. Um, I am just gonna hop off myself now. Um, but you guys, you have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. And I will hopefully see you again soon. Um, we'll be doing our next lesson. It'll either be Thursday or Friday. I am I'm gonna aim for the Friday. And seeing as we had the poll for whether it was going to be bunnies or butterflies for this lesson today, we'll do the butterflies next time because they came in a close second. Well, it was just a first or second, but it was nearly a 50-50 split. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. You guys have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you soon. Ta-ta!